be passed. Motion, members' motion with no legislative uh, effect. And that is promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country. Um, there will be a joint debate as two members would like to uh, propose amendments. I will invite um, Mr. Zhang Man Gong to speak, and then uh, Mr. John Ng and Mr. Yim Kong will speak, but at this moment they are not able to move the amendments. The joint debate takes place now. For those who would like to speak, please press the request to speak button. I now call upon Mr. Chow Man Kong to speak and move the motion. President, I move that the motion as printed on the agenda be passed. Mr. President, President Xi, in the report to the 20th National Congress, the central government will drive the GBA development and then so that uh, for the rejuvenation of country, Hong Kong can play a better role. Well, the constitution as well as the basic law means that the, uh, the central government has overall jurisdiction over Hong Kong and we should implement the principle of patriots uh, administering Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong should give full play to its own strengths to complement the country's development. We also have the advantage of having the strong support from our country. We should grasp the opportunities presented by um, the country's development. We should be innovative in ve on various fronts so that Hong Kong enterprises can be better integrated into the country's development. According to the seventh census conducted by the State Council in 2021, there were 370,000 uh, Hong Kong residents living on the mainland, not to mention Hong Kong residents commuting to and from the mainland on a daily basis. At the moment, the Hong Kong government supports Hong Kong enterprises and residents in the mainland, and this is done through different policy bureaus, such as the five mainland offices and also the uh, CMAB. There are also other statutory bodies, such as the uh, Hong Kong Trade Development Council, um, the Export uh, Credit Insurance um, Council. Despite having five offices on the mainland to support Hong Kong people and act as the middleman, many enterprises in the mainland have told me that in terms of liaising with Hong Kong enterprises and trade associations on the mainland, as well as liaison with the um, municipal authorities, the government has played a, a passive role. Hence, we're lagging behind in terms of competing for talents. If you want to expand your business opportunities by tapping into the domestic market, then a more assistance is required in terms of uh, customs clearance, certification, and um, checking and mutual recognition of standards. I think that the steering group of uh, integration into national development and all mainland offices will have to update their functions. They have to form formulate KPIs in the um, short, medium, and long terms, and they also have to establish communication mechanisms so that Hong Kong enterprises will um, feel more comfortable to integrate into national development. Last year, a dozen or so Hong Kong um, resident groups said that some organizations have a silo mentality. They are reluctant to uh, go out of their way to to offer assistance. The government uh, should approach sizable frontline chambers of uh, uh, chambers of commerce and resident or Hong Kong uh, associations uh, to give more assistance. There should be regular resources given to them. Say, for example, annual funding to at least a fourteen Hong Kong. Um, people associations so that they can enhance their support work. It can start with about $1 million per association to assist um, development of opportunities of Hong Kong enterprises on the mainland. And they can also assist in uh, trawling and competing for talents. The ultimate goal is to tap further into uh, business opportunities of the mainland and to 
drop a blueprint so that Hong Kong can integrate into the dual circulation and national development in terms of institutional uh, innovation in order to uh, formulate more efficient support measures. The government should, as soon as possible, enhance uh, studies into assistance given to Hong Kong people and enterprises. I have actually conducted various uh, surveys. The respondents said that there is a lack of uh, efficient support from the government. There are five mainland offices on the mainland and 13 mainland offices from the Trade Development Council. These groups think that uh, still there is insufficient support. They don't feel a sense of security. I suggest uh, that uh, the FSTB, the CEDB and the CMAB will talk to their counterparts on the mainland to enhance across boundary cooperation. They can make use of big data to collect information of Hong Kong people and enterprises um, of uh, their businesses and their studies on the mainland. And they also need to keep abreast of what they need. This is to ensure that the Hong Kong SAR government will effectively provide support. It can't be what it's like today. They just make use of um, projections and surveys conducted by the uh, Census and Statistics Department to get a superficial understanding. In terms of innovation, a lot of ex-officials told me that civil servants cannot uh, tap into their potential to develop um, better diplomatic relationship is because there are a lot of um, legal provisions that are self-contained. Say, for example, for education, um, the ceiling of per student intake have been put in place in the law. And for capital entrance scheme, uh, it's only limited to mainland uh, people. Yes, the goal is to uh, curb speculative activity, but it's outdated. The Department of Justice also need to require different policy bureaus to look at uh, the, relef uh, the relevant uh, legislation and to update them. Before the end of the, the term of this government, the um, amendments should be put in place. I so submit and I will listen to members' valuable views. I now propose the question to you that uh, Mr. Chairman Kong's motion be passed. Mr. Johnny Ng. In the two sessions that have just come to a close with resounding success, President Xi delivered important remarks. He said that uh, long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong is key to the country's development. Hence, we need to uphold the principles of one country, two systems, and Hong Kong people administering Hong Kong for better integration into national development. And the uh, Premier Li Li Qiang in the press conference said that the country has uh, struck has faith in Hong Kong and that uh, there will be more opportunities for Hong Kong people and businesses to uh, develop in the mainland. I made eight proposals in relation to Hong Kong's development. Three of them relate to integration of young people and Hong Kong people and businesses into our country. Especially, we should help Hong Kong businesses tap mainland market. There is a population of 1.4 million in the mainland. It is the largest market in the world. In the 14 five year plan, there is emphasis on the dual circulation strategy, and that internal circulation should complement uh, external circulation. And the and in this year, there is a stronger emphasis on stimulating domestic consumption to boost internal circulation. With a strong signal sent out, many enterprises feel encouraged. According to the business sector, they are confident in the mainland market. And they will be doing more businesses in the Greater Bay Area and in the country. I think we should first have the Greater Bay Area market as a start. 
with a 70 million population in the area, there is a big market and a lot of potential for Hong Kong enterprises. And we enjoy a lot of advantages in tapping the mainland market, be it um, products manufactured by Hong Kong enterprises or by mainland enterprises with a Hong Kong brand. We enjoy good reputation. And we also are good at uh, introducing trendy merchandises to the uh, mainland. However, uh, there is a lack of understanding of the mainland market, such as sales channel, information relating to the business environment, uh, uh, credit information of customers. There is a keen demand for professional services. The Hong Kong government should enhance the promotion of uh, the Hong Kong brand in the mainland market. There should be uh, relevant policies. We should also help uh, Hong Kong enterprises and Hong Kong brands enter the mainland market so as to uh, better support the country's dual circulation strategy and to make it convenient for mainland customers to buy Hong Kong products to enhance their uh, quality of living. Chief Executive John Lee met with uh, trade associations in the mainland comprising Hong Kong enterprises, and he said that uh, more proactive measures will be rolled out to help Hong Kong integrate into the country's development. In this new era, Hong Kong has the unique advantage of one country, two systems. Hong Kong is also key to the country's development in the future. We also have the strong support of the central authorities. I support Dr. Chao Meng Kong's motion. I also support the amendments moved by Mr. Yim Kong and Dr. Kennedy Wong. We urge the SAR government to take a more proactive approach in helping Hong Kong people and businesses integrate into the overall development of the country. Mr. Yim Kong. Mr. President, I thank Dr. Chao Meng Kwong for moving this motion. We are connected with the rest of the world, and we have our country as the backing. Now, the impetus for, for growth in Hong Kong comes from the country's support and Hong Kong's unique advantages. The epidemic has come to a close. It's time for Hong Kong to uh, come out from the trough. According to this year's work report of the PRC in the past five years, the central authorities effectively uh, implemented overall jurisdiction of, um, of the Hong Kong SAR according to the Constitution and the basic law. The central authorities also implemented the Hong Kong national security law and implemented the Patriots administering Hong Kong principle so that we enter a new phase from prosperity, uh, from stability to, to prosperity. Since reunification with the country's support in terms of um, our status as the International Financial Shipping and Trading Center, our status uh, has been bolstered. And in recent years, because of uh, some obstacles, the, we faced challenges in terms of development. However, with the unwavering support of the uh, central authorities, we continue to implement the principle of one country, two systems. Um, there is also a full support from the central authorities to take forward economic development in Hong Kong to improve people's livelihood. And with the motherland's strong backing and with the principle of one country, two systems, the status of Hong Kong and Macau as they are will continue to be bolstered. Uh, bolstered. The deputies from the Greater Bay Area put forward a lot of good suggestions during the two sessions to promote the development of Greater Bay Area, uh, including cross-boundary uh, health care, uh, commuting, retail, tourism initiatives. Integrating into uh, them ourselves into the overall development is key to uh, promoting economic development. In fact, um, the steering group on integration into the national development was set up by the chief executive last year. It is a good deed because the government takes a proactive uh, approach in dovetailing our policies with the 14 five year plan and also uh, Belt and Road Initiative. At the macro level, policies are taken forward and implemented. 
The steering group is overseen by the chief executive at a high level. It is very meaningful. And we must therefore make good use of this platform. Apart from integrating into the Greater Bay Area, the business sector is also concerned about the high quality development under the Belt and Road Initiative. In February, the chief executive led a delegation to the Middle East, which yielded very good results. Now, in the Belt and Road Initiative, uh, the Chinese enterprises played a very important role in enhancing connectivity and fostering collaboration. More quality opportunities uh, will be presented under the Belt and Road Initiative for Hong Kong. Uh, with the epidemic ebbing, there is a resumption of flow of people, goods, and capital. Timely adjustments should be made in terms of our strategy to integrate ourselves into the country's development. The relevant steering group should join hands with the business sector and the enterprises so that we can translate the blueprint into action, so that um, we can turn the development blueprint into reality. In this new era, we are fully confident in the future of Hong Kong under the one country, two systems principle. I so submit, Mr. Uh, Deputy, I, uh, Mr. President, I also support the uh, amendments. Dr. Kennedy Wong. I'd like to thank Dr. Chairman Kwong for moving the original motion. My amendment adds to the original motion a strong support of patriotic societies and patriots in various positions to play a role in the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country so that we can um, promote cooperation between the government and the community. For patriotic societies, patriots and the community, I'm not just talking about those within the territory. If we have cooperation between the government and the community, we can enhance our um, ability to integrate into the national um, development and achieve uh, new heights. In 2018, President Xi um, attended a ceremony uh, of the 40th anniversary of opening reform and opening up of the country. He encouraged more development in the mainland by Hong Kong businesses and residents. He said that uh, we are all miracles to, uh, and the strength is that we complement each other's strengths in the country's development. And there is also unity among people in Hong Kong as well as people in our country. And we also embark on the same journey as we share the glory of the country's development. The community is important in terms of fostering exchanges in different areas, such as culture, science, technology. They have made immense contributions in different um, areas. For example, I belong to the Import, um, Importer and Exporters Association. And all along, we have been holding consultation sessions. Especially, we tap the views of the uh, of members on integration with the country's development. We also have um, business missions to and professional missions. We also had a pilot scheme, uh, which is self-funded, to help aspiring Hong Kong young people to uh, take their business to Shenzhen so that they can uh, build up a presence in Shenzhen. And on a regular basis, we also hold mainland exchange tours for them, for young people to know more about our country and look for opportunities. There is this saying in the mainland, That is, uh, people describe the contribution as uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is um, non-state entities. That is, they contribute to over fifty percent of the tax revenue of the country. They also contribute over sixty percent to the country's GDP, as well. The figure seven. Um, the the uh, 
high-end innovative enterprises account for 70% of all enterprises in the mainland, and for 80 percent uh, of them uh, create jobs, and they also contribute 90 percent of the new jobs created. So, communities. Participation is of utmost importance. The government should therefore adopt a new mentality. For the patriotic forces in the community, the government should attach more um, should attach more importance. They should be encouraged to uh, participate more widely uh, in the country's development. There should be more channels of communication to foster cooperation between the government and the people. In terms of resources, a stronger support should be provided to uh, cater for the needs of that development. We can also leverage on think tanks in the community so that uh, they also make contribution to the government at various levels. Under Secretary for Constitutional and Mainland Affairs, President, I'm grateful to Mr. Chao Meng, Dr. Chao Meng Kuang for sponsoring this motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of country. Now, in the part about Hong Kong, in the report to the 20th National People's Congress, there was categoric support to Hong Kong develop our economy and improve people's livelihoods. During the two sessions, President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Tiang both stressed the full support for Hong Kong's integration into the national development. Premier Li stressed further his full support for Hong Kong to develop our economy and to improve people's livelihood and enhance our global competitiveness. With the strong support of the country, our strength will only grow. And with the strong support of one country, two systems, uh, this is going to be the case, and this is an opportun opportunity for us to have an in-depth discussion of this item. We'll first introduce the work of the government from a few macro perspectives, and then I will talk about tangible work we have done on an operational level. Now, to give full play to Hong Kong's unique Strength, the C announced in his 2022 policy address that a steering group on integration into national development, chaired by himself with three secretaries of departments as deputies, will be set up to enhance coordination and uh, also coordination and leadership from a strategic and macro perspective to provide steer for bureaus and departments to take forward initiatives for integration into national development, to make plans and uh, to dovetail with the 14th five-year plan, the GBA development, as well as the Belt and Road initiatives will enhance collaboration provinces and municipalities in a pragmatic manner. And based on principle of mutual benefit, the string group will formally and implement policies and measures to promote in national integration. The numerous opportunities brought by national development will inject new impetus for our growth. Under the steer of the SG bureaus have worked out the priorities. Take financial development as an example. The focus is to deepen and widen mutual market access and enhance wealth connect. And on the INT front, we'll continue to press ahead with the development of the Hong Kong Shamjian INT Park of the Loop and cross border data exchange. Under the leadership of uh, bureaus and departments, we are going to work out and refine and implement policies so as to ensure better integration into the overall development of the country. Well, when it comes to integration, we must have collab them. It's all about collaboration between Hong Kong and the mainland. The Hong Kong SL has established cooperation mechanism with Beijing, Shanghai, Guangdong, Shenzhen, Fujian, Sichuan, Hubei, and the PRD to take forward cooperation on all fronts. We are using these regional cooperation mechanisms to optimize opportunities after the return of normalcy after the epidemic. We organize mainland tours for enterprises to let them understand the opportunities available in the development of the mainland and also the GB in particular and the associated opportunities. We will be a major facilitator in the international circulation of the country. And uh, we will establish cooperation with these 
provinces and municipalities on the principle of um, bringing mutual benefits. Now, the country has embarked on a new journey in this new era, and we have invaluable opportunities. Our objectives are clear. We want to contribute to the development of the country, and we also want to enhance our growth and impetus. I would now like to explain what we have done. The SEO's main and others have played a very active role as a bridge between Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses and the mainland. We have got liaison and communication with all levels of government. We provide information to Hong Kong businesses on the latest development of the country. And we also relay views of Hong Kong people to the relevant departments in the mainland. And when necessary, we offer assistance to Hong Kong people who have encountered difficulties in the mainland. And the mainland officers will also organize jointly activities to promote Hong Kong with Hong Kong organizations there. And we also offer support and sponsorship to activities organized by these organizations. We're committed to do a good job. The chief executive in the PA 2022 has set very clear KPIs for these mainland officers. They will have uh, to make more frequent visits to mainland organizations and organs. They need to attend functions, make speeches there, and participate in trade and commercial conference to promote Hong Kong's strengths and also strength and also our opportunities. The mainland offices are part. The Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office and Kwantung will set up the GBA Development Promotion Center there through strengthening strategic cooperation with relevant organizations and institutions in the mainland and by providing inquiry services there, organizing seminars and study missions. The promotion center will promote opportunities that come with the GBA development. The center will also make use of exchange and promotion activities to encourage mainland talents and enterprises to explore more opportunities in Hong Kong. The Trade Development Council has also done a lot in exploring business opportunities on the mainland. For instance, they hold exhibitions and promotional activities, enhance cooperation uh, with trade and business organizations there. They organize training and exchange sessions, admission visits, etc. The DDC proactively promote quality products and professional services of Hong Kong to the mainland. They also encourage Hong Kong enterprises to explore business opportunities there. And the Trade Hong Kong Tourism Board also organize regular business trips and mission trips to the mainland. And they also invite trade representatives from the mainland to meet with their counterparts in Hong Kong to create eight more business opportunities. These are just some examples. In fact, uh, many public bodies have got branch offices on the mainland. They have very close partners there so that we can be an active facilitator in the um, development of the country. The coming five years is a critical period for Hong Kong. With the support of the central government, the Hong Kong SL government will give full play to our unique advantages and strength. We will make good use of the opportunities brought about by the 14th five-year plan, the GBA development, the Belt and Road initiatives, etc., and we will grasp the important opportunities available because of the national strategic developments. We will promote Hong Kong, Hong Kong enterprises, and integrate in to the overall development of the country so that we can be both the participator of internal circulation and facilitator of internal international circulation of the country. We want to contribute to the national development. I will listen to comments from members. Yeah. Mr. Le Wai Kuo, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Chiang Man Kuang for moving the original motion and the three members for moving amendments in relation to promoting integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into national development. I do believe that um, it will get support in all quarters. There is a consensus. In the 14th five-year plan, the first uh, meeting took place on the 13th of um, March. It was successful. They've completed all the agenda. President Xi Jinping uh, got um, um, all the votes uh, to be re-elected as uh, the head of the state and the army. It has uh, draw. It has uh, been very successful. President Xi said that um, well, uh, we need development, 
and uh, integration into national development will be conducive to Hong Kong's uh, long-term prosperity and uh, stability. His words injected confidence into uh, Hong Kong. Subsequently, John Lee, together with eight uh, de secretaries of departments, visited um, a number of departments and uh, ministries over just uh, a week or so. All these organizations agree that uh, they will improve their measures to support Hong Kong's stability and prosperity. And a few days ago, uh, Mr. Wang, a government official of the of the mainland, attended a joint uh, conference in Hong Kong. It's the first a physical meeting after so many years. A number of agreements have been signed. A strong message has been um, promulgated over a very short period of time. If we are to integrate into the national development, we need a two-pronged approach. First, we have to enhance a policy formulation and coordination of the two places. And we need to actively use um, resources and network in the community. The State Council promulgated a paper on reform of the Hong Kong Macau office. On the basis of the Hong Kong Macau office, uh, there is a central Hong Kong Macau office to take over the overall jurisdiction of uh, Hong Kong and Macau. And they will also uh, be responsible for coordination of um, these two places development into national development. We think that this is enhanced leadership from the central authorities. It is a very important institutional setup with great opportunities given to us by our country. In the maiden policy address of John Lee, he, he set up the uh, steering committee on integration into the national development. The chief executive will, will be the group head and the um, three department secretaries will be the deputy heads. We I think that uh, they should adopt a new line of thinking in the formulation of policies. They have to take into account uh, the needs of Hong Kong so, and um, also matters related to Nansha and uh, Tianhai. There should be a task groups formed under the steering under the steering group. There should be overall the, um, planning as well as. Uh, uh, working on the details in terms of using community resources and network. Now that the boundary has been reopened, a lot of chambers of commerce and uh, professional associations should organize more visits and exchanges with their counterparts for removing barriers uh, alignment of uh, standards, professional qualification recognitions, there needs to be more discussion. The government should also make good use of uh, network advantage of uh, clansmen associations on the mainland. They can act as bridges. I so submit and I support the original motion and the amendments. Mr. Sonny Tang. President, I speak in support of Mr. Chow's motion as well as the amendments. Now there is a new journey. Hong Kong also moved from our stability to prosperity. Hong Kong is an inalienable part of our country. We are the bridge between the um, overseas countries and the mainland. President Xi, in the closing ceremony last week of the NPC, said that um, Development of the country is also related to long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong and Macau. Um, we need to work on improving livelihood and to better integrate into national development. Mr. Li Chiang also said that uh, there will be more support to Hong Kong for integration into national development. We can feel the care of our country to, to us. In this new government has set up the steering group on integration into national development. It is responsible for formulation of measures. It will take over a 
the national strategies of the 14 five year plan we should take a more active role we should uh, tap into our potential and advantages and actively dovetail our development into that of uh, the country we should promote gba the greater bay area and the belt and road initiatives we need to create more development opportunities and this this is very important we need to make contr contributions to our to our country in terms of creating um, new opportunities. I think the government should provide more support to Hong Kong enterprises uh, to tap into the mainland market. Say, for example, dedicated fund, the BUT fund. The ceiling of funding should be enhanced. And there should be um, streamlining of application. In reply to a written Question D, uh, CEDB said that they would consider further streamlining the application and requirements of procurement under the BUT fund. I asked the government to continue to enhance these funding schemes to benefit SMEs. At the same time, I asked government to strengthen support from the import export uh, uh, corporation, a credit corporation. Well, there are differences in terms of disclosure. So the uh, the co these corporations may refuse uh, insurance. In order to help uh, enterprises to tap into the mainland uh, market, I I think that there should be cooperation with um, insurance organizations so that uh, more assistance can be given to ins insurance businesses. In terms of INT, we have a very sound foundation. Plans should be made uh, for these uh, for uh, R and D organizations to dovetail development into uh, the the mainland. For these organizations, then they should assistance should be provided for them to set uh, create a foothold on the mainland. These footholds can be used uh, to better um, create opportunities, and this will help in commercialization of products. And this will enhance uh, the government's work in integration into national development. There should be more cooperation and exchanges with uh, counterpart organizations. When we need to. Uh, play our role as um, a bridge. We need to promote exchanges and uh, integrate into the dual circula uh, circulation. Mr. Wang attended uh, a meeting in Hong Kong. He said that we should grasp opportunities and keep up with the development of the country. I asked the government to uh, enhance uh, supporting measures so that we can have better development impetus so that we can make better contribution to the country so that we can play a part in the great rejuvenation of our nation. Mr. Kenneth Lau. President, in the 20th uh, uh, part National Congress uh, report, President Xi has said that there will be support given to Hong Kong and Macau in a better integration into overall development, and it will also and that we will also play a greater role in the uh, rejuvenation of the nation. We have an advantage. So promoting integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the development of the country is an important strategy. We've all along relied on the international market. But there is rapid development in the mainland market. We need to enhance our our uh, liaison with mainland cities to create more opportunities. We need to upgrade ourselves. The GBA is a very good um, entry point. There are eight point uh, eighty six million people in the G in GBA. It's a very rich area. Uh, there are high quality supply chains in there. We can work with GBA cities. And this will give us uh, high quality development. There is the steering group on uh, integration into national development. 
The CE is the head. They've had their first meeting. They've uh, discussed about formulation of policies, say, for example, promoting a flow of people, capital, information in the GBA. I expect the steering group to pick up its pace and announce measures so that uh, Hong Kong people and businesses can be prepared. The first step of uh, integration is to enhance uh, business as well as job opportunities of Hong Kong people. There should be promotion of um, opportunities to attract investors and Hong Kong businesses to set up um, companies and to invest on the mainland. Uh, innovation and technology is a huge opportunity for us. There should be assistance provided to mainland cities to attract foreign investment. In the Guangdong ETO, um, there is a contact point. There is also a similar one in Shenzhen. I think the Guangdong ETO, as well as uh, the promotion GBA Development Promotion Center, should be given uh, more assistance so that seminars will be organized. These places can provide assistance to Hong Kong people and businesses. The promotion center should also organize various activities so that uh, Hong Kong people and enterprises can leverage on their advantage to um, tap into the opportunities, say, for example, market research, uh, brand promotion, etc. With a new development layout of our country, we can play a bigger role in the dual circulation. There is an organization involving Japan, mainland, New Zealand. This is the RCEP. We need to uh, tap into the opportunities. We also need to dovetail the strategic development of the Belt and Road Initiatives. This is a crucial time of the new stage of development. We need to make use of one country, two systems, and we need to make contributions to the modernization of our country. I so submit, I support the original motion and the amendments. Mr. Yang Winkit. Thank you, President. I speak to support Dr. Charman Kwong's motion to promote the integration of Hong Kong into the overall development of the country. We have heard often enough about this um, integration of the country. Now, this is because of uh, mainly because of the XLL, which is an important transportation link between Hong Kong and the mainland. And I think we need to enhance its efficiency. We have got full resumption of normal travel with the mainland and the carriage capacity of the XRL is now uh, back to its original capacity. Now, if we can make XRL like the MTLCL so the people can board a train when it's avail available, we can uh, relieve uh, the congestion of uh, the Israel. It can greatly enhance Hong Kong's competitiveness because communication faci facilities are important. This can help us to integrate into the country's development. The A4 Alliance did a questionnaire survey to understand uh, the views of people on this subject. We have received over 600 uh, responses. About 90% of them supported that idea. We have uh, to reserve 20 to 30 minutes for uh, clearance before boarding an XL train. This has uh, impeded the efficiency. And uh, if you change uh, to another train or to the other departure, you have uh, to go through procedures. So A4 is of the view that instead of uh, of uh, prior booking, uh, people should be allowed to brought, to board an XL train when it's available, and people should also uh, be allowed to uh, have uh, standing uh, places, and uh, we can shorten the um, traveling time between Hong Kong and 
Guangdong to about one hour. There should be more frequent trains uh, running at uh, 15 minutes min intervals in order to maximize the capacity of uh, the XLL. And that XLL will have room to lower its fares. For instance, a 25% discount for short haul trips and uh, there can be up to 10% discount for frequent travelers. So the people who need to travel frequently between the two places need only uh, to buy a ticket once and then they can um, go in and out of uh, stations freely. This can make XLL more popular. We have to uh, turn it into something like the MTLCL so that we can really realize the one hour living circle and that will help the development of uh, GBA. People who are minded to work or live in cities in the GBA will uh, find it more convenient. We must uh, make it more convenient for Hong Kong people and businesses. The Hong government should consider how we can facilitate banking business. For instance, uh, bank a branch, branches in Hong Kong uh, should allow people to uh, do their banking business in Hong Kong. For instance, uh, the limit for remitting money back to the mainland is 80,000 RMB. And if you do it in a remittance shop, you f risk uh, the uh, money being frozen. And you may even have to travel to the mainland before you can get the money back. I suggest that the government take it up with mainland authorities in order to develop a cross-border business or financial management mechanism. So people of uh, to the two places can engage in um, financial transactions for insurance, pay, payment uh, for medical payment, fees payment, etc. We need to further improve the flow of people, information, and goods between Hong Kong and GBA in order to promote our integration with development of the country. With these remarks, I support the motion and the amendments. Mr. Chen Siu Hong, first I thank Dr. Charmin Kwong for moving this motion. Integration into the overall development of the country is not a novelty. In the 1980s, many Hong Kong manufacturers set up their factories in Shamjan, they contributed a lot to the opening up and development of the country. Hong Kong became uh, the um, shop front and uh, Shamjan became the manufacturing base. That is the start of um, beneficial mutual development of the two places. The mainland is now developing rapidly. The uh, relative advantages of Hong Kong and cities on the mainland are very different from what it was like back then. We must integrate into the development of the country using our advantages to serve the needs of the country. And we must have a good proper understanding of uh, the whole idea. The overall development of the country involves two aspects. First, the strategic overall scenario of the country, and second, uh, changes in the global situation unseen in a century. The country is having high quality development. It has dual circulation with domestic circulation as the base and international circulation as um, and other branch of development, and the country is developing into a modern socialist country with Chinese characteristics. And in this uh, new global change, the, gov the country is now an active player in creating a shared destiny for humankind, and the country is developing rapidly on the INT front. So the country is developing so rapidly. Hong Kong must integrate into the overall development of the country in these two areas. This is not just about taking part in the GBA development and the northern metropolis. When it comes to integration, 
into the overall development of the country. Usually, we ask the SL government to assist Hong Kong people to work and live in the GBA and grasp the numerous opportunities here. I think we are being Hong Kong-centered. We are not thinking about contributing to the development of the country. Now, to tell good stories of China, we should utilize our unique advantages, and we must enhance our competitiveness so that we can be a participant in domestic circulation and a facilitator of international circulation. We must remind Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses that they should have a proper understanding of Hong Kong and so also the country. I'm pleased to see that the government has set up a steering group on inter integration into national development. We will integrate into the 14th five-year plan, the GB development and the Belt and Road Initiative. We must enhance cooperation and communication with mainland organizations. We should contribute to the dual circulation of the country, and we should play a unique role in promoting international circulation. Hong Kong should study how uh, we can enhance our role and function in the dual circulation of the country. And uh, by means of uh, this principle of mutual benefits, we should work out how we can proceed. Hong Kong people and businesses want to understand policies relevant to them in order to grasp the opportunities available. Starting from last year, the government have been supporting uh, Hong Kong people and enterprises to develop in the GBA, and uh, there is a funding scheme of $135 million. We should enhance this program. Hong Kong people and businesses face challenges on all fronts. Issues are complicated, and each province have their special arrangements. The government should better understand the difficulties faced by Hong Kong people and businesses in order to find the right solution. Thank you. Professor Chang Wing Kong, I speak to support Dr. Chang Wing Kong's motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong into the overall development of country and all the amendments. In the reports to the 19th MPs uh, National Congress and the 20th National Congress and the two sessions, Presidency gave his firm support for Hong Kong and Macau to integrate into the overall development of the country. Presidency um, <laughs> is very supportive of Hong Kong. Hong Kong's development is closely tied to that of the country. The country is building up a strong nation. It has embarked on a new journey, and it is an inevitable trend that we have to integrate into the national development. We should grasp the opportunities available. The government has done a lot in the PA 2022 the C announced the setting up of the steering group on integration into the international development, and also uh, this plan with uh, the Trade Development Council, uh, providing $135 million to help Hong Kong people and enterprises. There is also a scheme to help young people to seek employment in GBA, and also uh, also a subsidy scheme for. Uh, uh, building an entrepreneurial base for Hong Kong people in GBA. Admittedly, these policies and measures are very important for Hong Kong people and enterprises to integrate into the country. However, the uh, selection criteria are very complicated. Take the uh, Youth Employment Scheme in the GBX example, since its introduction in 2021, 3,500 positions have been offered, but only 1,000 or so graduates have taken up 
employment here. According to a survey, 80% of the young people surveyed in Hong Kong were interested to develop in the mainland, but they had little knowledge about the mainland market. They had no connections there, so they were deterred from so doing. It goes to show that our policy support is not sufficient. It has fallen short of the expectations of Hong Kong people enterprises. And so the improvement measures must be refined and implemented. As regards specific measures in the original motion and the amendments, they are excellent suggestions. I agree in particular with the original motion, and that is uh, to set up K. PIs for the me medium and long term. There can be more promotional functions, and we should also assess how effective these measures are so that we can keep improving them and we can have more specific and useful KPIs. This will better help Hong Kong people and businesses to integrate into the overall development of the country. Specific facilities and uh, information, such as uh, setting up bank accounts in the mainland, etc., so that people can be given real help in setting up in the mainland. Dr. Johnny Ng said that we should strengthen the support for Hong Kong businesses by promoting sales of brand Hong Kong. I cannot agree more. Take Chinese medicine's example. Many of our Chinese property, property medicine, proprietary medicine are very uh, real famous among mainlanders. We should promote quality brands to the mainland so that we can achieve a win-win situation. Thank you, Chair. Ms. Starry Lee, the 14th National People's Congress came to a close with resounding success. It provides ample opportunities for Hong Kong to um, jump on the wagon of development of our country. The Hong Kong SAL government and society in general should spare no effort in dovetailing with the country's development strategy so as to create more conditions for the development of qu high quality development. And that means innovation, technology, talents, and connectivity with the world. Talent development is of utmost importance in terms of resources. We need to facilitate the flow of talents across the boundary. In recent years, w markets have been opening up with mutual access arrange and recognition arrangements. With the signing of SEPA, there are more opportunities and support for professionals to work in the mainland. In terms of taxation and legal support, there are more facilitation measures for the development of uh, modern services industry in the Greater Bay Area. In order to establish Hong Kong as an international INT center, uh, Hong Kong can contribute by providing professionals, but at the moment there are obstacles. For example, in terms of mutual recognition of professional qualifications, more should be done. This year, in the two sessions, the DAB put forward a number of proposals with a view to allowing greater interactions in the Greater Bay Area to bring impetus to the area. For example, for the accountancy profession, the for a CPA in Hong Kong after um, getting a, red, a recognition in the mainland, the accountant can be a partner of a, an accounting firm in the mainland. But because of the numerous exams, there is only a limited number of uh, accountants qualified as accountants in the mainland. As for accounting and uh, auditing standards, things are moving towards um, international standards. We need to relax the eligibility criteria. For example, practice exams for accountants can be uh, set up in the Greater Bay Area with reference to the legal profession. Now for lawyers, uh, the system is even uh, more diff uh, even more different than that in the mainland. And for accountants, they 
can be allowed to practice on a limited scale in the Greater Bay Area to help drive high-quality development of the nation. In fact, different professions can make reference to this uh, groundbreaking uh, exam for lawyers in the Greater Bay Area. The uh, difference is so uh, big, and yet uh, legal practitioners can take the exam and practice law in the Greater Bay Area. So. The relevant, for relevant policy bureaus should uh, consider this option and will be joining hands with the government in taking forward high quality development. The other point is about different tax regimes of the two places. This is also one factor for professionals to consider whether to set up practices in the other place. Many professionals would like to work and set up practices in the Greater Bay Area, and many cities in the Greater Bay Area have introduced facilitation measures to reduce tax burdens for Hong Kong residents, such as Nan Sha. There is an initiative in which uh, in which Hong Kong residents are exempt from um, being charged tax uh, at a rate above that applicable to uh, residents in Hong Kong. As for high-end talents and professionals. Uh, in another area, they are only required to pay tax at a rate on a par with the rate in Hong Kong. Now, we should consolidate these measures uh, across all GBA cities instead of uh, working on each and every city one by one. The chief executive can take the lead. I hope more can be done on mutual recognition of professional qualifications and uh, consolidating tax concessions. Members from different political parties here will definitely join hands with the government in taking forward high quality development of the country so that as Hong Kong moves from stability to prosperity, we can make more contribution to our country. Mr. Lam Chun Singh. Thank you, Mr. President. I speak in support of Dr. Chao Man Kwong's motion. To foster greater integration into the overall development of the country, more supporting measures should be rolled out. I'd like to speak in particular of how young people can be better integrated into our country's development. The Greater Bay Area provides ample opportunities for young people to integrate into the overall development of the country. I strongly support the GBA Youth Employment Scheme announced earlier. But as of Je January 2021, the, when the scheme was still at a pilot stage, 3,500 jobs were provided, but only slightly over 10,000 um, graduates uh, reported duty. The scheme was not very successful. But of course, that had to do with a number of factors. First, the epidemic affected traveling arrangements between the two places. And second, many jobs under the scheme related to innovation, technology, uh, many jobs were managerial roles. And these jobs were quite concentrated. In Hong Kong, uh, there was keen competition as uh, many of these jobs vacancies were available in Hong Kong as well. So. Um, this is an opportune time for us to review the scheme and consider how we can better attract young people to join. At the moment, only um, young people who have attained uh, uh, a bachelor's degree can join. We should relax the criteria to allow those with um, VPT qualifications to join as well. This will help um, enhance flexibility in terms of job vacancies, and we can also allow graduates with different skills to gain work exposure in the Greater Bay Area. It will be conducive to the long-term development of VPET. The VTC earlier established a center in Shenzhen. It is the first center that allows a, an exchange platform in the Greater Bay Area for young people to know more about the country's development and be equipped with uh, skills. This can foster exchange of uh, VPET professionals.
when it comes to nurturing local talents, it is difficult to uh, allow um, talents to work in the Greater Bay Area without mutual recognition of uh, qualifications. But things have improved. For example, um, such as in the beauty, uh, beauty, uh, beauticians trade, only one exam is needed for a mutually recognized qualification to be obtained for practice in the two places. There is also another course co-organized by the two places for candidates to obtain the qualifications as electrician in the two places. There is a mutual recognition framework in place, but there should be a, a more direct uh, recognition of education as well as work qualifications to encourage more people to work across the boundary. Also, more should be done to encourage young people to study, work, and set up their businesses in the Greater Bay Area. More policy, supporting policies to be rolled out to support integration into the overall development. Dr. Tan Yue Hong. Thank you, Mr. President. I support Dr. Chairman Kwong's original motion. Uh, according to President Xi's important remarks, the country supports Hong Kong and Macau in better integrating themselves into the overall development. And this is, uh, I thank uh, Dr. Chairman Kwong's original motion and the amendments moved by three members so that we can discuss how we can allow Hong Kong people and businesses to better integrate into the overall development of the country and support the country's development. In terms of integration, we should also ensure that uh, people across two places can foster stronger ties. That means uh, we should cater for the different needs and backgrounds of uh, people. For example, Facilitation measures should be rolled out for Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses uh, living, working uh, across the boundary so that they can become the uh, um, the uh, mouthpiece of the government and tell good stories of Hong Kong. And that we can pique Hong Kong young people's interest in the motherland for them to know more about our country. We should also leverage on community forces, patriotic organizations comprising Hong Kong residents and businesses in the mainland um, should be enlisted to provide information to Hong Kong residents in the mainland in relation to uh, studies, uh, employment, so on and so forth. There should be close liaison and the, they should be supervised by the officers in the mainland. There were over 550,000 Hong Kong residents living and staying in the Guangdong uh, province. And uh, with more interactions between Hong Kong and our country and Hong Kong's integration into the overall development plan of the country, we can envisage more frequent exchanges and interactions of people across to two places. Uh, we should further provide. Um, we, sh we should provide more resources for Hong Kong uh, residents living in the mainland. For example, in cities where Hong Kong people tend to uh, gather, such as Fujian, Shanghai, etc., you should consider further extending the scheme to cover more cities. Second, for ETOs in the mainland. In order to provide greater assistance to Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses, um, officers familiar with the policies in the mainland should be dispatched to help Hong Kong students who study there. And there should be more opportunities of exchange with Hong Kong businesses so as to help them integrate um, into the communities in the mainland and also uh, to grasp the opportunity of attracting talents. Third, in order to enhance Hong Kong youth's understanding of the mainland, at the moment there are thematic uh, tours, exchange tours, 
they should be retained as these tours are resumed. Uh, more exchange tours and and uh, cultural sports competitions uh, that are of young people's interest should be held so that we can foster cooperation and encourage more young people to take part in these events and competitions. Uh, when young people across the two places cooperate in these um, or contest in these competitions, there will be more in opportunities of exchange and interaction so that they can have a sense of gain and a sense of achievement. I believe these measures will help enhance Hong Kong people's understanding of the mainland and foster integration. I support our, um, the motion and the amendments. Oh. Mr. Bill Tang, thank you. Mr. Deputy, Mr. Chairman Kwong moves this motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country. Of course, it uh, is worth supporting. I think we need to understand uh, the national development and we need to understand the role of Hong Kong businesses, the role of Hong Kong and the role of Hong Kong businesses. President Xi has talked about national development. In the 14 five-year plan and in the 12th uh, National Congress report, um, it's been made very clear that by 2035, there will be high quality development of the country. The country, the country's strength can be increased by twofold. By that, I mean GDP. If we can indeed achieve that, and if we can achieve that before 2035, that means our country will become the country with the highest GDP. To move one position ahead means that we have shattered the international situation when Western countries has been hogging a leading position over many years. Why do I say that? Because Hong Kong people need to know about this. When youngsters and professionals go to the mainland, before that they stay in Hong Kong and they develop themselves, when they go to the mainland, they will dovetail the de their development into that of our country. There are some commonalities. Mr. C. Y. Leung, the former chief executive, has aptly described it. What the country needs, Hong Kong's good at. Now, a lot of places are learning the spirit of the um, National Congress. We have a common law um, jurisdiction here. We need to make good use of that. We need to further develop it. We also have very sound financial system. Say the banking system, the settlement system, and a huge variety of products. And these are an inherent advantage. We also have to make good use of our culture. Hong Kong is uh, where the East meets the West. We welcome elites from the mainland and elites from overseas countries to come. Locally groomed talents understand the world and the mainland. And I have not even talked about innovation and technology. These talents uh, will help to develop all these different areas, which in turn helps our country. The crux of the country is whether our youngsters are still so naive that they think that the beacon lies in the US and Europe. If that is the case, I think it is the shortfall of our education system. We need to educate our youngsters 
so that they will understand the um, the role of our country. We also need to compile a list of uh, two wave movement. Medical device is an example. For medical um, devices registered in Hong Kong, it can, they can be used uh, in Guangdong. But Hong Kong people or Hong Kong professionals are reluctant to use um, products developed by the, the mainland. Why is why is it not a two way street? It's because uh, there is uh, indirect discrimination, and this is not conducive to our integration into national development. Mr. L uh, Louis Long, Mr. Deputy, it's been over twenty five years since the reunification. Integration into national development is a natural course for Hong Kong people and businesses. In a 20th National Congress report and in the speech of the NPC um, meetings, President Xi talked about support Hong Kong and Macau in better integration into overall development and to improve livelihood. So this is a national policy. And the restructuring of the Hong Kong Macau office to enhance the leadership of the central authorities is uh, the actual action taken. The 14 five year plan has positioned Hong Kong as the eight centers. It covers many different policy areas. I'm glad to see that the CE leads the steering group on integration into national development to promote the work of different bureaus. Last week, the CE took, two, took, took eight um, bureau uh, heads with him to Beijing. I do believe that uh, this will pick up the pace of integration. But how can this high-level objectives keep, can be transformed into uh, results for Hong Kong people and businesses, I have some observations. For Hong Kong people and businesses uh, to integrate into national development, they need guidance and support in many different areas. I ask the government to talk to municipal government to fight for more uh, preferential policies, more simple policies and arrangements to uh, enable Hong Kong people and businesses to invest on the mainland. Second, in order to help Hong Kong people and businesses to find opportunities, there should be a unified framework and information centre. Services can be provided to businesses. The information will be timely, uh, will be released in a timely manner. Important information, say for example, contact points will be made available so that uh, businesses can make preparation. The information center can also provide support of business opportunities. They can organize visits and uh, seminars so that businesses can get a better understanding of the situation on the mainland, uh, thereby creating a win-win situation. The GBA bayarea.gov.hk should be further enhanced. There should be more publicity. This will be conducive to uh, Hong Kong people and businesses finding information to further their studies and to, ex to explore business opportunities. Three, majority of local businesses are micro or SMEs. Their businesses may not be under the purview of the eight centers. Some businesses think that national development and integration into national development is um, so too high level and out of reach. So in order to help them, 
you need to first understand the difficulties encountered by them and what they need. I asked the CE's policy unit to conduct surveys and to pr uh, to provide a tailor-made assistance to these businesses. Lastly, I appealed to different sectors to seize the opportunities after the epidemic. They should actively integrate into national development so that they can make contribution to the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Mr. Deputy, I support the original motion and all amendments. Ms. Lam so Wai. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. Mr. Chao Man Kong moves a motion, and uh, there are three members moving the amendment. President Xi in the 20th National Congress report uh, said, uh, said that there will be support given to Hong Kong and Macau in better integration into overall development uh, and for them to play a greater role. We need to seize the opportunities. We need to understand the uh, direction of the integration so that Hong Kong can be more competitive. An important point in a policy address is to dovetail international development and to in enhance our development impetus. We need to make better use of um, um, platforms and tap into our advantage. We need to ex uh, tap into the uh, market as well. And I have some observations to make first. To enhance the Chang Kwan O uh, Inno Park and to enhance the exchange of uh, Joran technology. Supporting facilities of the Chang Kwan O Inno Park is not fully used. And in order to enhance and consolidate our advantage in upstream research, we need to make use of um, the resources in GBA so that universities will be more active in doing researches. A decade ago, the Hong Kong youth set up a cyberport academy, and there are courses on the fine tech. And CUHK has also set up uh, centers in the uh, science park. Currently, the Hong Kong UST are planning to build uh, three teaching blocks on uh, biotechnology and semiconductors. There is also a research center for Joran technology. Deve products will be developed, say for example, smart wheelchair and 3D real-time uh, paste identification and various other technologies. This will be great contribution to Geron technology for the country. Geron technology plays an important role in, in our national strategies. We have uh, additional 10 million old people every year, so there is a huge demand. But for elderly services on the mainland, it's still in a development, developmental stage. Whereas in Hong Kong, we have mature technology. We need to leverage on the sound uh, research capabilities of the Inno Park. That should be cooperation with the um, relevant sectors so that the needs of users will um, that they will know about the needs of these uh, users. They can use the Greater Bay Area as a springboard so that uh, the technology and products can be used in other places. And A4 Alliance advocates that um, the high-speed rail should be turned into something like an underground. If projects of uh, border crossing areas have been completed. There is a huge network. Now there is the one hour living circle in GBA. Prices should be reduced. Um, uh, there should be more, um, more trains available. Say from Hong Kong to Fu Tian and Shenzhen North, we hope that. There will be a train every 10 to 15 minutes. Passengers can just uh, beep their carts to get on the train. Well, if you can uh, cross the border in the 15 minutes, then then uh, there will be synergy. For Kowloon West to Guangzhou Dong, there can be um, a train journey of uh, 60 minutes. 
Tianhe is the CBD of Guangdong. There are a lot of entrepreneurs there. Hong Kong residents in the long run can use their uh, two-way permit to cross the border and, and use it just like uh, mainland identities to travel. I support Mr. Charles' original motion and the amendments. I so submit. Thank you. And you. Dr. Priscilla Lau. Thank you, President. During the two sessions, I made a proposal to the country, and that is uh, to uh, extend the Tianhai model to other cities in the GBA so that all other cities in the GBA can also uh, have uh, the same uh, legal, quality legal brand name of Hong Kong. Now, Dr. Johnny Ng also mentioned brand Hong Kong in his amendment. In fact, uh, the uh, rule of law our, uh, is a famous brand of Hong Kong which the country cherishes. Nowadays, we should not just ask what the country has to offer. We should also ask ourselves when the country uh, needs us, what we can or what do we have to offer to the country. Hong Kong is the only place in the country where Common law is practiced. We can promote the Tianhai model to other cities of the GBA. This is entirely feasible and also a win-win situation. The uh, GBA is uh, at the forefront of uh, the coast of the country. The country once announced that uh, the uh, cooperation zone in Tianhai should be expanded by four times so that it can be a demonstration zone. We can start from Tianhai. As mentioned by many members, the legal sector is indeed very fortunate. We are favored by the government, and we also have a relatively easier licensing examination for Hong Kong legal practitioners to develop in Tianhai. Tianhai is uh, the trial zone for innovation, and uh, it is a very successful model. Let me share with you. In 2014, or starting from 2014, uh, the model was first introduced. Now, in terms of arbitration, there is also a mediation in 2016, together with experts from over 30 countries, we started the International Institute, Research Institute of one country of uh, the Belt and Road Initiatives. We together worked on um, mediation mechanism. Of course, you know arbitration well, and in fact, mediation is very useful. We have the Hong Kong Arbitration Institute set up in Hong Kong, and uh, that was actually a forerunner of what we have in Hong Kong. Mediation can allow the uh, parties in dispute to come to a settlement in an open manner. Tianhai has got a set of mechanisms to allow investors in Hong Kong to uh, resolve their disputes in Tianhai. People can choose uh, the legal system outside the territory. This is most important. Many overseas investors may find mainland the mainland laws or legal system unfamiliar. So Tianhai is a um, facilitator. The parties in dispute can choose the legal system they are familiar with to resolve the dispute. And they can have uh, jurors and mediators from overseas. They can all take part in resolution of disputes. In some cases, Tianhai even allow international sales standard to uh, deal uh, with um, disputes in trade agreements or sales agreements. So this is a very important point. If the Tianhai model can be 
extended to other cities in the GBA, so that now we welcome Belt and Road Initiatives investors to uh, set up their base in the GBA. I believe my proposal is a very good one, and this is in alignment with the new development pattern of high quality development. This is a way to allow Hong Kong people and businesses to integrate into the country's overall development. Thank you. Mr. Lai Tong Kwok, President, I thank Ms. Dr. Charmin Kwong for moving this motion. Now, we have resumed normal travel with the mainland. Our youth Federation has organized a three day tour. We visit Hong Kong, Zhuhai, Macau, Foshan, and Dongguan. The tour has a very important mission, and that is to understand the development of the GBA and to explore opportunities in the country. Understand that with the resumption of normal travel of the mainland, many organizations are eager to go to the mainland for mission trips and visits. Now, I'd like to ask her, what is the government doing? At a higher level, as mentioned, the chief executive in his policy address delivered last October announced the setting up of a steering group for integration into national development with the CE as the chairman and three secretaries of departments as deputies. It will work out the development strategies in the GBA and uh, is also responsible for cross-bureau coordination. Last November, the first meeting was convened. It's been three months since. I'm sure we are all eager to know so far what policies, strategies has the steering group formulated. Is it now time to announce to the public? Perhaps the Under Secretary can give us an account of the work and decision of the steering committee and when we can hear from the steering group. And we also need the ability to implement policies. The Guangdong ENT office has uh, recently decided to set up the GBA Development Promotion Center. One of its duties is to promote development opportunities to Hong Kong businesses and to assess to assess that development in the GBA. I fully support this idea and I also agree that the promotion center should be set up under the Guangdong ETO first because uh, the GETO covers nine countries where Hong Kong people have uh, most business activities and they are keen to enter the market of these places. And then the government can consider setting up similar promotion centers in other ETOs to assist Hong Kong people and businesses working very hard in other provinces and municipalities to integrate into the uh, development there. And Professor Wong this morning asked about mobile apps and online platforms being used in the mainland, and they are very often different from what we have in Hong Kong. He also asked uh, how teachers and students uh, should be taught to learn how to use such apps. I'm sure the same problem is bothering our Hong Kong businesses. Of course, some people are very quick to pick up uh, on how to use mainland online platform and apps. Still, there are people not as literate digital-wise, and that may be the um, obstacle for their development in the mainland. We can consider providing training for and assistance for these people in Hong Kong and in mainland offices and ETOs so that members of the public can be more familiarized with 
online platforms and apps being used in the mainland for better integration into the country's development. Thank you, Ms. Eunice Young. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Mr. Deputy, I speak to support the motion sponsored by Mr. Chow. Dr. Chow, this is the first year of the 45-year plan, and this is also a critical juncture for the country's development. The country is moving towards high-quality development with the staunch support of the government, of the Central People's Government. We must leverage our advantages under one country, two systems, and use our strengths to to serve the country's needs and proactively integrate into the country's development. Uh, the CE had uh, the Hong Kong Guangdong Joint Cooperation Meeting. That's the already the 23rd meeting between our CE and also uh, the um, governor of Guangdong. The purpose is to make this place the most attractive places for top-notch talents and enterprises. There were agreements on labor matters, medical appliances, and cooperation on various fronts. That was a very fruitful meeting. How do we ensure our advantages and strength so that we can integrate into a strategic development of uh, the G? BA. This new term of government is very proactive and capable. It has been enhancing the pace of integration with the national development, and we have a direction for development after resuming normalcy after the epidemic. And there are also several measures launched in order to promote high quality development in the mainland so we can further enhance our attractiveness to enterprises. This can help to promote high-quality development of the Guangzhou province. I'm sure these measures are also useful to Hong Kong enterprises for development in the GBA. Now, for Hong Kong, uh, we have also set up a task force or subcommittee on uh, promoting integration with the GBA development and how uh, we can uh, facilitate Hong Kong people and businesses. And we explore various exchange and strategies for promoting Hong Kong's participation in the GBA development and how we can use our advantages to contribute to the country's development. We are a highly open economy. We have the free flow of talent, capital, and information. These are very attractive in retaining local capital. And we also want to better integrate into the national development. I am qualified to practice in Guangzhou, and not long ago I relayed my views on how we can allow Hong Kong lawyers to integrate into the uh, GBA development, and we can also allow Mainland law firms understand advantages available to them in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is an important intermediary. We are a two-way service platform for uh, the um, uh, for Hong for mainland enterprises to go out. So we should be a participant in domestic circulation and a facilitator of international circulation, so that we can make better contributions to society. Dr. Kennedy Wong said that we should uh, support Hong Kong's patriotic societies and patriots in various positions to play a role in the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country. I agree that we should allow more funding for uh, patriotic societies and business associations so that they can uh, pay, play a bigger role. We are now in a new era. 
we have uh, one country, two systems, we're also in a new era, and uh, it is inevitable that we should integrate into the country's development, and we should create new room for development in Hong Kong as well. Thank you. Mr. Yu Pak Lang, thank you. Mr. Deputy, I speak in support of Dr. Chairman Kwong's original motion and the three amendments moved to my members. Hong Kong should integrate uh, itself into the overall development of the country and grasp the development opportunities of the country for one country, two systems to fa sail uh, far and steady. In order to in integrate ourselves into the overall national development, we must first integrate into the Greater Bay Area so that there is a synergy, synergetic development uh, across the nine plus two cities in the Greater Bay Area. Progress has been slow. Now, with implementation of Patriots administering Hong Kong, um, Hong Kong, we have opened a new chapter that is um, we put priority in fostering collaboration between the mainland and Hong Kong, and we have set up a number of uh, committees, such as the Steering Group on Integration into the Na National Development and Task Force on the Development of Northern Metropolis. There is also other liaison groups set up. For example, last Monday, under the leadership of uh, Mr. Kevin Young, the Secretary, we led a delegation to visit the uh, authorities in the mainland. I believe that if a joint effort is made, we will be able to drive uh, development so that Hong Kong can be integrated into the overall national development. I have the following views on Dr. Chairman Kwong's motion. First, in relation to the development of the tourism industry, Hong Kong and Zhenzhen sit on invaluable resources. In terms of conservation and ecotourism, we see limitless opportunities. Uh, we now advocate the three circles in two cities, and there are also administrative zones in Shenzhen, uh, Shenzhen such as Yan Tian Port and Sha Tao Kok. We can create a cooperation zone on international tourism and consumption. This is for the purpose of deepening um, cooperation in the northern metropolis. At the moment, um, the, Sha the Sha Tao Kok area lacks supporting facilities, such as the FCA, Frontier Close Area in Chateau Kong. The government has heeded the views of the industry in opening up a part of the closed area. But because of security concerns, even if Chateau Kong is fully open in 2024, Chongying Street will remain closed. This is the most attractive place in Chateau Kong. I hope obstacles can be removed so that tourists can visit Chongying Street as well. The other point is about uh, cooperation. In terms of the uh, tourism development plan of the country, the country emphasizes collaboration with the Greater Bay Area in cruise tours and other marine tours. Clearance procedures should be streamlined so that we have um, individual arrangement schemes for cruise tours. There should be more communication among government, uh, the governments to speed things up. Next, we should create synergy. That means we should take proactive action in enhancing transport infrastructure and be ready to connect ourselves with the transport network in the mainland. For example, our railway service should be extended to Sha Tao Kok. Uh, Lok King Road in, in Sha Tao Kok should be widened. Mar uh, marine tra uh, water transport in Sha Tao Kok should also be enhanced to tie in with the development strategy. And negotiations should be carried out with the mainland authorities on clearance and collocation procedures so that we can upgrade and transform our tourism products. I hope that we can enhance connectivity with the mainland so that when there are more frequent meetings and liaison with the authorities, we can work out the nitty gritty and iron out details on policy implementation to help our tourism industry upgrade and transform to drive forward the development of Greater Bay Area so that Hong Kong can be better integrated into the country's development plan. I so submit uh, Ms. Carmen Khan, 
Thank you, Mr. Deputy. I thank Dr. Chairman Kwong uh, uh, for his motion so that uh, we can have an in-depth discussion of this important issue. In a closing speech of presidency in two sessions, he said that Hong Kong and Macau's long-term stability and prosperity is key to to um, the country's development and that uh, we should be better integrated into the country's development. And in the Chief Executive's Policy Address 2022, uh, the Chief Executive announced the setting up of the steering group on integration into the national development. This echoes my request and this council at the panel on constitutional affairs uh, and that the government should work uh, take a top down approach to enhance leadership in uh, integrating with the uh, into the country i have the following suggestions in terms of our positioning we should not only have regard to hong kong but we should consider ourselves on how we can support the country's development but there are four key portfolios of the steering group but this is not only within the purview of the Constitution and Mainland Affairs Bureau or a steering group uh, should work alone. We should also consider the following. Under the leadership of the chief executive, different um, bureau chiefs have been liaising with the mainland authorities. This is a good start. We should all make the best efforts. Third point, Dr. Chairman Kong has made a specific uh, suggestion in this motion, and I fully agree with him. We should improve the functions and services of the relevant policy bureaus and public organizations so that we take a top-down approach. Uh, we draw up a specific key performance indicators. We should first find out the problems facing Hong Kong people and businesses. We need to first identify the problem before we uh, proceed to troubleshooting. Like Dr. Chaomen Kwong's suggestion, is it that we are lagging behind? Um, re the recent hot button issue is digital economy and a greater Bay Area development. We should consider whether our legal framework is up to date. Is there any dedicated bureau or official in rationalizing digital econo economic development and uh, dovetailing with uh, greater Bay Area development? Legislative amendments should be put in place so that we can better dov dovetail with the systems in the greater Bay Area. Bay Shenzhen, Guangdong province, and um, other mainland authorities. It is key. Um, they have said that it is key that we align our standards. Now, Dr. Chairman Kwong's motion also mentioned public organizations. The Hong Kong Airport Authority is one of the statutory bodies in Hong Kong. It is key to Hong Kong's status as an international aviation center. So we should consider the performance indicators, whether uh, the authority is meeting our standards in um, bolstering Hong Kong's status as an international aviation center in line with the 14 five-year plan. We need manpower to implement policies. Are the public organizations providing public service according to the terms of reference and the mandate. We need dedicated manpower to resolve specific issues. For example, um, a few days ago, the chief executive signed an agreement in relation to the mutual recognition of uh, medical equipment and pharmaceutical products. The Health Bureau should take the lead in this regard. Hong Kong will be the new uh, economic drive in Greater Bay Area development. The Northern Metropolis, in particular, is now in its, in its planning stage. We have a mechanism to set up task forces with Shenzhen. Um, better planning should be put in place to foster industrial collaboration so that Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses can be integrated into the country's development plan. The, uh, now, this is such an important issue. Do the relevant policy bureaus make regular reports to this uh, steering uh, task force? Many policies are related to the mainland. However, these policies may not be known to uh, Hong Kong people and businesses, let alone mainland authorities uh, across the boundary. More publicity should be done. I look forward to the uh, work of the Great Greater Bay Area Development Promotion Center. The Greater Bay Area is Hong Kong's future. We should grasp the opportunity and unleash the potential to uh, create more impetus.
Mr. Chen Mr. Deputy, the central authorities have been supporting Hong Kong in grasping the opportunities um, presented by the country's development so that we proactively integrate ourselves into the country's development. There are also um, facilitation measures for Hong Kong residents and businesses to study, work, and live in the mainland. I don't think these measures are effective enough because some of these measures only promote a one-way integration. Hong Kong people feel that when it comes to integration, they must migrate northwards uh, to some place they are not familiar with, and they are disincentivized. Hong Kong is one of the cities in the Greater Bay Area. So in promoting the concept of integration, we should promote the, the two-way concept so that members of the public understand that Hong Kong people stand to benefit um, one way or another uh, in terms of integration. For example, uh, we can promote INT development that will drive uh, development in Hong Kong. Um, this will also support the country's, uh, the country's um, direction for Hong Kong to be established as an I international INT center. Dr. Chairman Kong in his motion urges the government to improve the functions and services of the bureau, bureaus and public organizations. And uh, Mr. Im Kong also suggests making use of the new steering group on integration into national development. I fully agree with these suggestions. Um, there are ETOs set up by the government in the mainland, and there are mainland offices of the Hong Kong TDC. But Hong Kong residents and businesses are not aware of the policies concerned. This may hamper integration. We must uh, leverage on uh, the CDB and other bureaus uh, so that on a regular basis, surveys can be conducted to pr collect uh, big data for analysis so that we understand the changes uh, in terms of the uh, Hong Kong, uh, uh, the situation of Hong Kong residents living and working in the Greater Bay Area, so that we can uh, roll out more targeted supporting measures. Under the CEPA framework, Hong Kong has signed a number of agreements on mutual recognition of professional qualifications with the mainland. Some professions, however, are excluded. This um, hampers the development of these professions. The steering, com uh, steering group on integration into the national development should give priority to negotiations with the mainland authorities under CEPA so as to expand the scope of mutual recognition of professional qualifications and to implement more opening up measures. Last year, KPIs are proposed uh, for uh, in, the, in the Chief Executive's policy address, but these are quantitative indicators, such as how many uh, job, um, business fairs have been conducted. I question the effectiveness of these indicators. Earlier, I tapped the powers of uh, business um, or tr uh, chambers of commerce and uh, business organizations. They believe the government can play a bigger role. Uh, in terms of supporting uh, businesses in the mainland. Apart from uh, business fairs, a regular channel should be set up to provide more support to Hong Kong businesses in the mainland. Qualitative indicators should be established to help Hong Kong businesses and pe Hong Kong uh, people tap business opportunities and tap the wider market. I support Dr. Chow's motion and the amendments. Mr. Chen Kim Po, thank you, Mr. Deputy. President Xi made a speech recently. He said he support Hong Kong in the better integrating into the national development and to improve people's livelihood. Integration into national development is a significant policy. is supported by the central government. Mr. Chow moves this uh, motion. We can talk about uh, how the government can better um, integrate, can better formulate policies to integrate into national development. This is the general trend. This will enhance our competitiveness and improve livelihood. But the process is different. It is about uh, cooperation and uh, communication of organizations in the two places. We don't have sufficient experience. It takes time. We've 
been reunited with the motherland for many years. But for various reasons and, dif and difficulties, we have not yet established true partnership with uh, ministries and commissions. But with the national security law, all these barriers have been removed. The first thing to do is to establish a uh, relationship with mainland ministries and commissions. The CMAB has a GBA Development Office. There is a dedicated official to formulate policies. There are also five mainland ETOs responsible for communications of different amongst different cities. There is also the joint conference to talk about a cooperation. When it touches on policies, the responsible um, the policy bureau will participate in the discussion. So far, progress has been smooth, but we have to catch up on lost time. There was a vacuum of three years because of the epidemic. Studies will have to be undertaken to see how we can enhance efficiency. When policies are formulated, we hope that um, businesses uh, can get the assistance they need. Last year, there was the steering group on integration and international development set up. It's under the leadership of the uh, CE as well as uh, department secretaries. This is a high-level group. The work will be more effective. I believe that the government will hear members' words and they will look into enhancing existing mechanisms. With better mechanism, we will better integrate into national development. The insurance sector is um, moving along the direction of integration. Well, we're looking at um, sales centers. Next step is uh, for an um, e-platform for insurance covering serious illness, life insurance, and then the next stage will be um, investment-linked products. The general policy of the government is right, but implementation is a different matter. Sometimes the goal cannot be achieved, so there should be supporting policies to Hong Kong businesses. In this way, the policies can be better implemented and it will enable businesses to participate so that they can all work together to integrate international development. Thank you. Mr. Chen Yong. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. I thank the uh, Secretary for attending. We need to pick up the pace of integration and international development. I support Mr. Chow's original motion, and I also support the amendments. You all, be, you all agree that um, we have to integrate into development of the country and link up with the rest of the world. We take delegations to Southeast Asian countries to explore business opportunities. Chambers of Commerce there envy us because we have the support of our, our country. Compared to the other parts of the world where there are uh, wars and disasters, China and Hong Kong, well, that is, uh, Hong Kong and mainland are blessed places. We've read the 20th National Congress report. It talks about uh, promoting the development of GBA and support to Hong Kong of, of, in the integration of overall development and for Hong Kong to play a greater role in the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Well, a lot of legislators are also members of CPPCC and the NPCSC. A lot of valuable proposals have been made. They are beneficial to the development of our country, to people's livelihood, and uh, career prospects for youngsters. We have received very good words from ministries and uh, commissions on the mainland. I was one of the people who participated in uh, in a topic uh, related to Chinese medicine. I was mentioned in the report. It shows that President Xi attaches a lot of importance to our views. Members, uh, 
talk about uh, 600 lawyers who have successfully obtained uh, practicing certificates on the mainland upon passing examinations. We hope that uh, other professions will follow the same path uh, for better opportunities. You might have heard about our suggestions, say, ch turning two-way permits into mainland resident cards. This will be conducive to integration. The CE John Lee led a high-level delegation to go to Beijing, and they have achieved results. We ask for these results to be materialized so that Hong Kong people, that is youngsters, professionals, and the business sector can um, share the fruit of the result. There should be better flow of uh, manpower, capital. We'd also like to talk about the uh, important speech of presidency on the 1st of July. He talked about better integration into national development and a dovetail into strategic development. We want to see Hong Kong becoming um, super connector and also super partner. Uh, there is a poem in presidency's um, poet po uh, pre um, speech, he talks about a crane taking off into the sky. It, it means that uh, Hong Kong and our country will take off and um, achieve new heights. Mr. Lang Meng Kwong, thank you, Mr. Deputy. First of all, I thank Mr. Chow for moving the original motion, and I'd also like to thank members for the amendments. This will help to achieve our dream to integrate into national development. In a 14-5 year plan, there is the position of Hong Kong as eight centers. In, re in the recent Congress, it talks about elevating the Hong Kong Macau office. So uh, there is uh, organic integration of the overall jurisdiction of central authorities and high degree of autonomy in Hong Kong. Hong Kong people and businesses will also take the initiative to integrate into national development. We talk about integration. How? Where? Let's first talk about uh, GBA. GBA is an important development project. There are 11 cities in the GBA. They have uh, their different advantageous uh, industries. There will be synergy. This will be um, a modern industry zone. President Xi Jinping also talks about enhanced uh, development, and Hong Kong uh, can be turned into an innovation and technology center. We have uh, strength in logistics, financial services, and trading. But when it comes to innovation and technology, we lag behind. We need to make better use of innovation and technology. In terms of manpower, we have a quality universities. We are an education hub in this region. Some of our universities run campuses on the mainland. And we also have uh, good cooperation in terms of uh, vocational professional education. The GBA provides great opportunities for our graduates. When there are industry development, people will go there, and which in turn and uh, as accelerate uh, industry development. We have a GBA Youth Employment Scheme and also some overseas internship. Support to students on the exchange programs to the mainland has been strengthened. Where well, we can attract more R&D talents to come to Hong Kong. This will enhance our research capabilities, and we will be able to build a talent hub. We're talking about overall development plan of the GBA. Different cities have their own advantages. The government uh, should uh, tap into other other areas' advantages. Well, I'm from jo I'm from Zhongshan. Uh, there is an advantage of uh, electricity home appliances. In recent days, they have been developing on um, 
medicine, say orthopedics. Well, we know that there is a long waiting time for specialist um, outpatient unit for orthopedics in uh, Kowloon West. You have to wait for 76 weeks. And there is also insufficient dental service. The development in Zhongshan in this area will be able to plug the gap. The government can put in place um, a supporting policies, say, for example, matching um, health care fund. If uh, Hong Kong residents spend $1, there will be a matching f um, subsidy of $1 for people to use mainland, mainland medical services. Good transportation can uh, promote exchange of talents. Lazy living circle is important. A4 Alliance uh, advocates a one-hour living circle. Well, when uh, trains are always available in our dream. Well, this um, the GBA can create a good uh, transportation network. If we encourage Hong Kong people to actively integrate into national development, the government needs to put in place plans. We should tap into our, our advantage so that we can uh, leverage on the support of the country to make contribution to our country's development. I support the motion and the amendments. Members, it's now 6 o'clock. There are still seven members waiting to speak. I've already asked members who would like to speak to come back to press the button so that I can make a decision about our position. Ms. Wendy Hong. Thank you, President. I support the original motion and the amendments to promote integration with the national development. Now, Hong Kong is, um, is a place for capital raising, and uh, Hong Kong uh, people and Hong Kong businesses have also participated in development of the country, and we're promoting two-way opening up to benefit both sides. However, honestly speaking, CEPA and their supplemental agreements have uh, helped to promote uh, liberalization of uh, flow of goods and services, but their effects are limited, and this has greatly hindered the integration of Hong Kong into the overall development of the country. We haven't seen new supplements to CEPA and with more uh, free trade agreements signed up, the effect or impact of CEPA has uh, faded. And I think it's time to negotiate a new round of CEPA, CEPA agreements so that we can remove the obstacles for Hong Kong people's integration into the national development. We should Think of CEPA 2.0 with two missions. First, to further uh, address the problem of uh, small doors still closed so with uh, the big doors open when uh, we talk about Hong Kong people gaining access to the um, mainland market, for instance, uh, on genetic matters. Now, it is rather complicated for Hong Kong people to apply for patent registration in the mainland. And Hong Kong accountants and lawyers cannot set up their independent practices there. They can only attach to a local practice in the mainland. And CEPA 2.0 should make it possible for Hong Kong people and businesses to integrate into the country's development without having to leave Hong Kong. Now we are or nowadays we think that Hong Kong people and businesses must move into the mainland in order to be integrated. But uh, this is really an obstacle. For instance, 
if we uh, send small parcels to the mainland, we have to provide uh, the invoice and uh, uh, the clearance, etc., medical records and uh, credit record, etc., uh, cannot uh, uh, travel across the border. So CEPA 2.0 should address these points. The mainland is developing very rapidly. Many uh, KOPs in Hong Kong would like to tap into that market as well. Unfortunately, it's not really possible for young YouTubers or KOLs to land on the mainland market. They is it's also not easy for goods promoted and sold through online platform into the mainland. And uh, for commercial data and uh, business records, the mainland market and Hong Kong markets are segregated. Hong Kong is a separate customs entity. There is a firewall between Hong Kong and the mainland. We understand that there cannot be full integration in this regard. But there is also mutual market access in the financial market with closed loop management and without compromising the safety of the country, we should allow fr free flow of capital to make it easier for Hong Kong businesses to integrate into the national market without having to leave Hong Kong so they can make contributions to the country. Thank you. Mr. Tong Li Zhe, I want to thank Dr. Chao Meng Kuang from G19 for sponsoring this motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong into national development. Now, whether we are talking about the 20th National Congress or the two sessions, state leaders are in full support of promote of integration of Hong Kong into the development of the country. There are also measures and policies to help to achieve this goal, and there are also KPIs to be formulated. Professional services, including the architectural uh, urban planning surveying sector I represent, has always taken part in the development of the country, providing the unique advantages and strengths enjoyed by Hong Kong and to offer professional services in alignment with international practices. However, the government hasn't been proactive enough. Very often, we can only fend for ourselves with the uh, Institute of Surveyors, and we were able to got some assistance, but uh, we did not have a lot of support from the government. While there is mutual recognition of professional qualifications in my sector, the effect is not really very um, substantial. Because while the uh, main gate is open, there are still small doors unopened. Professional companies are not able to bid for contracts of consultancy services because we have to get recognition first with the hard work of myself and the industry starting from last year the mainland started to allow developing and professional consultancies to develop their practice in the mainland with the support of the government 
but for companies who have never undertaken government projects, they are not able to benefit. I've always asked the SL government to relax the restrictions and allow companies that mainly serve the private sector to join the list of the government. So by means of making a report or making a record with the mainland authorities, they can start their practice in the mainland. And there should be suitable projects in the mainland to allow the participation of companies from Hong Kong. In 2019, with the Tianhai Management Authority and uh, the four professional associations I represent, we held a competition so that young practitioners can take part in their competition. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, the competition was suspended in the last three years. With the situation improved now, we have immediately resumed the competition. The prizes now are much bigger, and we are now inviting applications. I'd like to take this opportunity to appeal to young practitioners to take part in the competition. Hopefully, we can have more projects available in the mainland so our young practitioners can take part and we can have uh, competitions of uh, this kind so more young people can take part. Thank you. Mr. Ma Fung Kwok. Thank you, Chair. I speak to support this motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country. I support the amendments as well. Hong Kong cannot be uh, separated from the mainland in terms of development. We should support and integrate ourselves into the overall development. The Greater Bay Area Development Plan stipulates the important role played by Hong Kong. In the 14 five-year plan, um, the central authority supports Hong Kong to be established as the aid centers. According to the closing speech given by President Xi in the two sessions, Hong Kong's long-term um, Stability and prosperity is key to the country's development, and the, the and the central authorities support Hong Kong in integrating them ourselves into the overall development. So this is uh, actually a non-option for Hong Kong. We must um, we must go ahead. So in terms of. Facilitating the flow of people, capital, goods, and information, more is to be desired. Very often, the main gate is open, but the small gates are closed. These are obstacles to facilitating development of Hong Kong people and businesses in the mainland. The, the Hong Kong government should negotiate with mainland authorities to suitably relax restrictions um, imposed on Hong Kong people and businesses so that we can jump on a wagon of development of the country and give play to our role. For example, Hong Kong is a free uh, port. There is no capital control, whereas in the mainland, there is a difference. So there are restrictions on the capital flow across the boundary. Cross-boundary remittance is capped at 80,000 renminbi a day. And this is not sufficient in meeting the needs of um, people and businesses across the boundary. This is a major obstacle in facilitating um, connectivity between the two markets. There should be negotiation with the mainland authorities to relax this remittance cap so that residents need not resort to unofficial remittance channels. And there should be a proper mechanism set up to facilitate the flow of capital across the boundary. Also, some social media platforms are not allowed on the mainland, whereas uh, these are important channels for Hong Kong residents to get information. However, because of the restrictions of serving these uh, um, platforms on the mainland, Hong Kong people and businesses may not be incentivized to live and work in the mainland. 
So without compromising national security, cybersecurity, and privacy in the Greater Bay Area, the government should explore allowing the use of uh, social media platforms in the mainland. For example, servers outside the territory should be allowed to be set up so as to impose uh, monitoring and to facilitate the flow of information for the, for the personnel. Um, also, Hong Kong businesses are subject to the negative list um, checking uh, because they are considered to be foreign enterprises. These enterprises are barred from investing in certain industries uh, such as uh, genetic engineering and other industries. I understand that there are concerns on safeguarding uh, biosecurity and national security. Still, I hope that the negative list imposing control on Hong Kong enterprises should be relaxed. For the Tianhai facilitation measure, there are um, there is a clear direction mapped out for Hong Kong enterprises there. I hope that the steering group on integration into national development can rationalize the four issues I mentioned so that we can remove obstacle and open the small gates, so to speak, so as to provide services to Hong Kong people and businesses for their um, development in the mainland so that um, they can uh, answer to the question of uh, development in the mainland. Mr. Lee Chen Kang, I'm sure we all remember how the two sessions attached importance to high quality development of the country and primarily uh, mentioned uh, the term development more than 20 times. Uh, this goes to show that economic development is uh, tops the agenda of the country in the future. And one country, two systems is important. Hong Kong is part of uh, the GBA development. In fact, we're located in the GBA. And so promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the GD GBA and the country is most important. High quality development is most important for building up a strong nation. The country regards private enterprises as are there um, on their side. All enterprises are important force to promote common prosperity, and they should also share the responsibility of promoting common prosperity. The LPNI of the view that we should leverage the advantages under one country, two systems to promote high quality development and help enterprises to transform and upgrade to promote the flow of information, capital, and people. There should be good division of labor with Guangdong province so that all the gates, be they big or small, be opened. We can uh, build, make a bigger pie in the GBA development. I've always said that the Hong Kong South government should explore with the Guangdong province using I am smart as an identity verification tool so that Hong Kong people with I am smart can have an account open in Guangdong to facilitate their daily activities and transactions, such as a resident card in the mainland and also a driving license there. We have co-location of clearance facilities in Shamjian Wan in Exile Ao. We should have uh, ports, more ports of the same kind to promote flow of people between the two places. For flow of freight, we should suppress the clearance time and encourage exchange of data with the mainland to facilitate the flow of commodities. When it comes to the flow of capital during the pandemic, many members of the public have complained that their funds have been frozen in the mainland for three years. They were required to travel to the mainland personally in order to withdraw money. We must enhance 
cross-border cooperation between banks of the two places. There should also be a contingency plan, and we should relax the flow of capital between the two places so people can integrate into the development of the country without reservation. The country will establish a national data bureau. Hong Kong being an important window of the country must grasp this opportunity brought about by digital economy so that we can be the forefront of INT development. We should make use of the advantages available to us under the 14th five-year plan, and we should set up an international data management center in order that we can be a center of a free flow of information. We are a gateway into the country and also a gateway to the world. Hong Kong is an international financial center. We are the center of offshore RMB business. We possess both the hardware and software. We have a world-class legal system and world-class talents. We can be a place to attract overseas investors to come to Hong Kong and for mainland enterprises to go out. We must promote the development of the GBA development and ask Hong Kong people to fully utilize the opportunities. Thank you. Mr. Jeffrey Lam, in order to promote Greater Bay Area development, we should uh, better integrate Hong Kong and Macau into the overall development and play a bigger role in the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Hong Kong and Macau enjoy unique advantage. We have the support of the country. We should be play the role as the hub so that we can help mainland enterprises go global and attract foreign investments. In the past, Invest Hong Kong is ta was tasked with attracting foreign investment. Now the government moved away from the laissez-faire policy. The government set up the Office for Attracting Strategic Enterprises and the dedicated teams for attracting businesses and talents at ETO offices. This is the first step to proactively attracting enterprises. Now, earlier, the first meeting was convened. I am very concerned about the work priorities of the office, especially on attracting talents. I'd like to know the supporting measures and also how we promote ourselves to the world. Hong Kong has the advantage of being connected with the world, and in order to align with the world and the mainland, Hong Kong should discuss with the mainland authorities. More um, forums, exhibitions, major events should be held in Hong Kong for the two places. Uh, where there should be thematic exhibitions to attract more foreign participants and investment. Apart from attracting businesses and investments, we should then turn to financing activities. We have no capital control or currency control. We have a free currency system. Uh, that means for listing companies, listed companies, they can carry out financing activities here. Ching Tao Beer was listed in Hong Kong 30 years ago. It was the first egg share uh, to be listed in Hong Kong from the mainland. The uh, stock code was 168. It's, an, uh, it's very auspicious. 30 years on, mainland enterprises account for close to 80% of all stocks in the local market. This is the major driving force of our market development. Looking ahead, we should continue to um, rely on the support of the country. We should encourage more mainland enterprises to be listed in Hong Kong. While many China concept stocks in recent years have indicated the interest to come back and be listed here, we should review the listing regime on the premise of striking a balance between promoting development and protecting protectors' interests, we should encourage more mainland enterprises to be listed to enhance Hong Kong's 
competitiveness as the premier financing platform. I want to point out that Hong Kong is the largest private wealth management center in the world. We have um, a lot of uh, tycoons here. According to a report in 2020, Hong Kong is a city with the largest number of ultra-high net worth individuals. That means a lot of potential for family offices to be set up here. According to the policy address, by 2025, we should be able to attract at least 200 family offices to set up presence in Hong Kong. Tax concessions, I mean, a bill in relation to the relevant tax concession uh, will be implemented soon. And I look forward to attracting more enterprises to set up family offices in Hong Kong very soon. Hong Kong has taken part in the reform and opening up of the country. Uh, we are now actively integrating ourselves in the national development. We share the same fate. I hope that in the future, the SEL government will continue to uh, give play to the uh, advantages of Hong Kong and make great contribution to our country and create more room and opportunities for uh, our development. Dr. Junit Ho. Mr. President, I support Dr. Chairman Kwong's original motion on promoting the integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country. I'm not against the amendments moved by other members either. Basically, members who have spoken talked about economic development, technology, removing obstacles, uh, opening the small gates as well as the bigger gates. Now I'd like to turn to education. It is of equal importance. If we don't um, do something about education, we, we can't adopt the bottom line thinking. There is a security problem. In other words, we need to uh, in, uh, promote uh, national security. And according to Article 10 of the Hong Kong NSL, uh, promulgated on the 30th of June 2020, the Hong Kong government should promote the concept and awareness of law abidingness and national security through schools, NGOs, the media, and the education sector. Now, in 2019, we finally realized why um, the educators and the social well, uh, social work sector um, were strongly influenced by the color inf revolution. Well, we are an open city but we did not have the awareness of national security. That affected our next generation. How could somebody with um, a good, um, good appearance had such a sick mindset? That is why I truly appreciate the chief executive in proposing this in the policy address. Before the end of this school year, um, the schools should fulfill this uh, key performance indicator. That is, there should be uh, national security education in school campuses. That means we should train the teachers. If the teachers don't set a good example, um, they won't be able to properly educate the next generation. Teacher training is of utmost importance. We shouldn't just require politicians and government officials to be patriotic. We should require teachers to be patriotic as well. Otherwise, they will be exerting the bad influence on our young people. And that is why my suggestion is that we should promote national security education on all fronts. We should request teachers to undergo training in the mainland. They should learn about our country. They should learn about national security. Dr. Junis Ho, uh, are you, uh, have you misunderstood the uh, title 
of this debate. No, it's about Hong Kong people and businesses, right? This is about promoting integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country, right? But if we don't fix this, there will be a sense of alienation um, from our motherland. If we don't have a sense of identity, there is no integration to speak of. Anyway, this is a something very, really essential, and I'm coming to my point. We should uh, address the problem at its crux. Otherwise, without a good foundation, in the end, we won't succeed. I so submit. Mr. Xiu Kafei. Thank you, President. Well, the 20th National Congress concluded last year. We have, we have seen the great achievements made by our countries. This is a new journey. This is a new time. There will be new development uh, plan. Presidency in the 20th National Congress report talk about um, building China into a modern uh, country. There, should, there will be great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. On a number of occasions, he talked about uh, one country, two systems. It shows the importance attached to Hong Kong. In the NPC and CPPCC session, once again, President Xi talked about building a strong country, and it's related to long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong. The 14 five-year plan gave us a roadmap. The LegCo has um, collated the information. In a dedicated chapter, it covers three areas to enhance our competitiveness, to integrate into national development, and to promote development of the Greater Bay Area. How can we promote development in the GBA? This motion is about promoting integration of Hong Kong people and businesses into overall development of the country. Well, people talk about um, Hong Kong people, but what about Hong Kong businesses? For the development in the GBA, uh, it's very much looked forward to by Hong Kong businesses. They have uh, 10 times the population of uh, that than and, and that in Hong Kong. For integration into development of GBA, we need exchanges. After the opening of the border of the of the boundary, on three occasions, um, where well, we have received delegations from the mainland, there is a one that took place in Hong Kong CEC from Guangdong. The other one is a Fujian prov um, provincial a uh, province, also at the same venue, and one from uh, Yunnan, and it took place in Marriott. I sat through all three sessions. I talk about I I heard about uh, policies, tax uh, concessions, preferential treatments. They sound very attractive. That's why I sat through all three sessions of these uh, business promotions. I would like uh, the business sector to take the um, opportunity to integrate. I represent the business sector. We face great changes, just like uh, together with our country. Countries like um, the US are facing great difficulties. We have to find a way out. There is the dual circulation. Um, using the domestic circulation as the main thrust, and there is also the international uh, market. Yesterday evening, I attended another e uh, event. Someone, after having heard my speech, said that they would like to integrate into the development of the GBA. There are also owners of overseas factories that would very much like to tap into the mainland market. With tax concessions, they can easily invest uh, um, $100 million or $200 million. Hong Kong 
enterprises, overseas investors. How can we help them to integrate into national development? It's, one, it's mentioned once again that the country supports um, businesses in the uh, community. They want to see these companies thrive. So we hope that Hong Kong businesses can seize the opportunity. If you go to the mainland, please uh, better integrate international development and make your contribution. Does any other member wish to speak? Mr. Chao Meng Kuang, you may now speak on the amendment. I thank Mr. Johnny, Mr. Yim Kong, and Mr. Ken D. Wong for their amendments. They have given us the, their valuable input to enrich the motion. It also shows that members are very concerned about this motion. In relation to Mr. Ng's amendment, he urges uh, the Hong Kong government to enhance the support to Hong Kong enterprises and to enhance uh, growth impact impetus is along the same vein as my motion. Brand Hong Kong is popular in the mainland, but it's difficult for Hong Kong enterprises to tap into the mainland market. They said that, uh, well, uh, they have um, very competitive products, and it's difficult for Hong Kong enterprises to know about consumer behavior, and trend. They are very different from what they already know. And they also encounter difficulties relating to tax, structural problems, um, um, recogni uh, recognition of standards. They need support in terms of funding and support so that they can tap into the domestic market of over uh, 1.4 billion people. I support Mr. Yim's amendment. As I said at the outset, that uh, the steering group of integration into national development or mainland offices, they need to update their function, taking into account a change in situation. They need to establish uh, communication channel channels with their counterparts on the mainland and to help Hong Kong people and businesses. They need to be given the security uh, so that they can better integrate into national development. Well, um, I also agree with review and revise the mechanism for aligning with national development strategies. The CE visited different commissions and ministries. It shows that the government is determined uh, to enhance our work in dovetailing into the national development. It shows our sincerity. And the Hong Kong SAR government need to update its institutional setup and to innovate so that they can respond to the needs of the times and people. Mr. Wong's uh, amendment is also valuable. Similarly, at the outset, I urge the administration to provide subsidy in different forms to attract Hong Kong um, people associations on the mainland to organize activities to support Hong Kong uh, people to work and to do businesses. And in this way, they can better integrate into ne national development. Mr. Wong's amendment follows the same line as that of mine. And I suggested in last week's motion that uh, we need to leverage into the uh, potential of uh, Clansmen associations, there should be uh, more assistance given so that uh, Hong Kong's role to go global and to attract in, uh, international businesses can be strengthened. This will also enhance our impetus for growth. I so submit. I thank the three members for their views, and I ask members to support the motion and the amendments. Under Secretary for Constitutional and Mainland Affairs, President, once again, I'd like to thank Dr. Chao Mian Kuang for his motion and also Dr. Jim Johnny 
Mm, Mr. Yim Kwong and Dr. Kennedy Wong for their amendments. They have given us valuable comments and suggestions for integrating into the national development by Hong Kong. I would like to highlight what we have been doing on this front. First, uh, the steering group on integration into national development will continue from a macro and strategic perspective, press ahead with initiatives across Bureau. Uh, Mr. Ma Fung Kwok and uh, Dr. Chang Men Kwong asked uh, what has been done since the first meeting. In fact, uh, relevant bureaus and departments have worked out the priorities action areas after the first meeting. They have set out specific action goals and work plan. And the SG has uh, set up working groups chaired by the three deputy secretaries, I mean the three uh, department secretaries, and they will press ahead with the priorities working areas. They will closely monitor the progress of work and provide guidance so that we can grasp the opportunities brought about by the country's development and enhance our growth impetus. Well, just in February and yesterday, we had the 23rd plenary of the Shenzhen Hong Kong and Guangdong Hong Kong Cooperation Joint Conferences held respectively in order to deepen the cooperation with these two places in various aspects. We are now planning to convene cooperation conferences with other provinces and municipalities to further explore new regional cooperation opportunities. Now, with um, quarantine-free cross-border travel resumed and uh, with We've resumed full normalcy, and in February and early March alone, the sea has visited Beijing, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong SAL. And since the uh, opening of the borders, there have been frequent exchanges between Hong Kong SAL and other provin provinces and municipalities to discuss cooperation matters. And CMAP has arranged a meeting with government delegations from places like Guangdong, Tianjin. Jiangsu, Fujian, Shanghai, and Shenzhen, and Sichuan. And very soon, the CE will visit the GBA mainland cities, and the delegation will include senior government officials and members of this council. This will be the first big delegation of this kind since the epidemic. In future, the SAL's mainland officers will do a good job in publicizing Hong Kong they will actively visit mainland organs organizations, receive media interviews, and conduct briefings both online and offline, and uh, tell good stories of Hong Kong. They will enhance exchange and cooperation with the mainland. The mainland officers will arrange uh, publicity activities when government officials visit different places and allow them to make speeches and receive media uh, interviews, etc., to enhance the effect. And through a variety of functions, the main authorities and uh, mainland officers there will hold seminars for Hong Kong businesses in the mainland and will make use of the social media and electronic communications to promote Hong Kong's advantages. And we also encourage professionals to uh, enhance uh, the understanding exchange with the mainland. Well, when our young people thrive, Hong Kong will prosper. The government attaches a lot of significance to nurturing a young generation that are patriotic and who love Hong Kong with global vision. We have various uh, schemes. And for instance, we have the Mainland University Study Subsidies Scheme under the EDB and uh, the funding scheme for young interns in the mainland and funding scheme for youth exchange in the mainland run by the um, Home Affairs and a Youth Affairs Bureau, and also there are the funding scheme for youth enterprises in GDB, and also GDB Youth Employment Scheme. Now, our mainland offices will provide more intern positions for young people so that they can have the opportunity to uh, engage in internship in mainland enterprises. Ms. Eunice Young and Mr. Lo Wai Kwok have uh, in their speeches asked for a stronger role to be played by patriotic societies and patriots. In fact, um, they are important communication bridge between Hong Kong government and the community. They are an important pillar of society. 
in the past year, the uh, CE and the Financial Secretary have formulated the policy address and budget respectively, and they have organized consultation sessions with associations of uh, townsmen, fellow townsmen in the consultation sessions. In future, the SL government will build up a stronger partnership with patriotic societies uh, so that we can uh, consolidate uh, various patriotic forces in the community to assess Hong Kong people and businesses to integrate into the country's development. Now, I'd like to talk about our publicity in the mainland and overseas with easier uh, cross-border travel. We have planned a new wave of publicity work. We have the Task Force on Promotion and Branding Hong Kong led by the Financial Secretary to publicize Hong Kong's new development, our potential and new opportunities to tell good stories of Hong Kong. With the concerted efforts of different parties, I'm sure we can publicize Hong Kong well, both in the mainland and overseas, so that we can build up Hong Kong's brand and also Hong Kong's image. Through a number of uh, large-scale global publicity programs, including the Hello Hong Kong, we will have a series of promotional activities. We're handing out half a million of free air tickets, 80,000 of which will be for tourists from GBA. We we'll welcome overseas and mainland visitors to come to see for themselves uh, how uh, hospitable Hong Kong is. Now, once again, I'd like to thank members for their valuable comments and just suggestions under the advantages given to us under one country, two systems, and uh, under the framework of the SG on integration international development, we will grasp the opportunities brought about by the 14th five-year plan, the GBA development, the Belt and Road initiatives. We will provide more room for further development of Hong Kong. Thank you. And I call upon Mr. John Ng to move an amendment. President, I move my amendment. I propose the question to you that Mr. John Ng's amendment be passed. I put the question to you. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Mr. Yim Kong, as Mr. John Ng's amendment has been passed, you may move your further amendment. President, I move my further amendment. I propose to question to you that Mr. Yim Kong's further amendment be passed. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Mr. Kennedy Wong, as the amendments of uh, Dr. Johnny Ng and Mr. Yim Kong have been passed, you may move your further amendment. President, I move my further amendment. I propose to question you that uh, Dr. Kennedy Wong's further amendment be passed. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of two groups of members present. I declare the, the amendment passed. Mr. Chairman Kong, you have uh, two minutes, uh, 28 minutes. Then the reply will come to a close. Mr. Chow, I thank all the members who have uh, spoken on the motion. They have given recognition of the content of the motion. A number of members talked about flow of uh, manpower, uh, changing the high-speed rail to more frequent um, um, trips. And they also talk about uh, recognition of um, qualifications. Ms. Lamsawai talks about uh, transfer of technology and cooperation. And I'm sure that the government will benefit from these views. And they should be uh, seriously taken by uh, all different parties. Well, helping Hong Kong people and businesses into the overall development of the country is not easy, but it's something that we need to do. As I said at the outset, if we are to achieve this goal, we need to have institutional um, innovation and innovation of our mentality so that we can make it happen. We have to uh, break 
away from all these straits limiting Hong Kong people and businesses from in the integration of national development. We need our government to work for the for the people and to be accountable. There is the um, S USS CMA that's here, but there is also the CMA CDBs, uh, CMAB, the ETOs on the mainland, the Trade Development Council, and the Tourism uh, Board. They all need to work together to achieve the goal. I so submit. I ask for members' support. And I put the question to you that Dr. Chaman Kwong's motion as amended by Dr. Johnny Ng, Mr. Yim Kong, and Dr. Kennedy Wong be passed. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members present and declare the motion as amended passed. The council is adjourned. We will resume on the 29th of March at 11 a.m.